Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. The XRP has been released from escrow, but it's not what you may expect. If you make it all the way to the finish of the movie, we'll give you some fascinating price predictions made by specialists about XRP. First, let's survey the marketplace. 1.66 trillion, an increase of approximately 9% in total volume, is down, with XRP increasing by 7% in the last 24 hours, reaching 51 cents. Overall, things are looking a bit more bullish, and volume is down about 7% below the $1 billion mark, which is always an important metric for us. The escrow, however, is the great issue that everyone has, and seems to have forever. A staggering 600 million XRP was taken out of escrow today, just to be put back in again. Going back into the escrow, but this time 800 million XRP was locked in. The main mystery is why 800 million went back in, but 600 million came out. Due from ultimately, it seems that this step is being made in response to the theft of more than 200 million XRP from the Ripple network. Rick, the chairman Ripple, according to Chris Larson in particular, unlocked 60 million XRP from escrow, but relocked 800 million. I touched on this briefly in yesterday's video, but I still don't see why they would keep such a significant sum of money in their own wallet. I don't see the point in holding $112 million worth of currency if, for example, its sale would cause investors to lose faith in it entirely. In my opinion, this is a very astute move, what is required is an official announcement that Chris Larson has returned his tokens to the escrow and may have even relinquished them totally. However, I believe it is critical that this escrow keeps growing, we have seen its release on many occasions, and each time it has been worth hundreds of millions. However, something seems different this time. Plus, another $200 million is frozen for a while, and you can see that Ripple has locked about $100 million, for a total of $400 million. More information may be found on the Explorer, and this is in addition to the $500 million that were locked yesterday. I also believe it's critical that Ripple is aware that this is being monitored. In my opinion, the caretaker is the one in charge. Now it's in Chris Larson's wallet, but from now on, you won't allow yourself get burned again. Everything will be overseen by the security and sovereignty of Ripple and XRP. So, obviously, this is excellent news. Considering all that has transpired, I believe it is reasonable. Excellent news. It goes without saying that all the exchanges work together to ensure that not a single XRP is sold via their platforms. But this is the crux of the matter. Never forget that their goal is to steal your cryptocurrency. It's crucial that you diversify your portfolio, so be smart and cautious about it. Besides this, what else are we doing? A price forecast, that is. Predictions about the future value of XRP have ranged from ridiculous to, well, probably not happening. Every time I look at it, it seems like this needle is moving. But a Twitter crypto influencer going by the handle AGRAG just shared his $22 XRP price target. Ultimately, this one is referring to the present moment as a purchasing opportunity and it has a somewhat more realistic tone. We are now facing several challenges with XRP. However, the expert predicts that the price of XRP will rise to $20 to $38 in the future, and he has shared his predictions with more than 45,000 people on the microblogging site. Think of the dips as purchasing opportunities in the near future, as he uses a symmetrical triangle formation as an illustration. I remain really positive about XRP, and I believe many of us did the same thing, we purchased the drop, and then we bought it again. In my opinion, we will finally get some answers, and not only for XRP, when this court case concludes, especially since Coinbase is a major player in it. However, in terms of the whole cryptocurrency ecosystem, we are already aware that ETFs are a positive development, it is just a matter of time before we see an Ethereum ETF, and who knows what the future holds for XRP, Solana, and who knows what else. However, about the current pricing. Here we go again, we're bouncing off this bottom line, these 50 cent lines, which provide us with a very high amount of support. However, at the moment, we are facing difficulties with a few of these critical indicators, which is in contrast to the market as a whole. 
We are hoping for a short-term retest and subsequent upward movement, however, this is highly unlikely at this time due to the ongoing court case and the recent events surrounding Chris Larson's wallet. The 200-day exponential moving average is shown by the yellow line, while the 50-day moving average is represented by the pink line, but if we can keep consolidating while trending upwards, by which I mean that we can see this PUSH back up and then this consolidation upwards, then the two blinds may converge, improving our mood somewhat. The outcome will depend on those legal proceedings in the end. The absurdity lies here. It's likely that we're down to eight only two weeks before the SEC ripple is finalized. Should we try to negotiate a price before that time? I think it's entirely doable. Just like before, tell me down below. Do you have any opinions? Is Ripple likely to settle out of court? Alternatively, if you believe it will go all the way, please inform me and provide your price forecasts as usual. Your predictions about the future of XRP are always fascinating to me. I'll end this video now. I appreciate everyone tuning in. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.